just as the leprechaun, right? Hey, I make poetry books for people. These little things, there's a whole box of them back there for free. We made 26 different books right now. Plus, there are full books that people have donated to us. So take whatever you want. This one's out of one of mine. Why are all our poems and songs so sad? We are intergenerationally depressed. An entire army of kids sandwiched between being forced to grow up too soon and swimming in an ocean of adolescent nostalgia, Saturday morning cartoons, Toys R Us kids, music, television, and other things that don't exist anymore. We spell out our depression into words on pages, put it to music and lament and bitch and get it all out before we are swallowed by the same mouth that belts out our personal horrors. Our guidance counselors and after school specials and other things that don't exist anymore always ask us, you want to talk about it? Then we grow up and find out no one really wanted to know. The question was rhetorical. We worry that we don't exist anymore or not important enough to exist. So we talk to ourselves and repeat it to incarcerated audiences already crying out while we bleed on the mic. Alright, I just wrote this a second ago. I see you hiding there in the back, pretending that you don't exist, shrinking into the shadows, trying to get a voyeuristic view of what life looks like through Coke bottle rings. I see you. You exist. Come up to the front, into the light. Come let us all see you. At least you'll see me better up here. All right, I'm one short little ditty. But, since I figure out where I put it. All right, it's not real. Let me tell you the thing that keeps me up at night. I'm in it. So I have a constant stream of vivid thoughts running infinite channels through my head at all times. What I fear most, what I am forced to watch in my head daily, is losing those that I love. Of again being that scared, alone, desperate little boy. Of being exiled once again to that slow, drip, drip sound echoing off the empty room of my vast universal mental prison. Every single day, automatically, I run scenarios of my son's death through my head. Every parent worries about their child. Most are paranoid of such. I have it played before my eyes in realistic detail. I am forced to continually watch the most tragic moments of my life on a big screen in my head, none of which have ever happened. Every day, a different death. Just once, I wish it could be me. Why can't I protect him for myself? And once again, I reaffirm that his end will be mine. I have to close my eyes and repeat this mantra. It's not real. It never happened. Am I real? What is the dream? What is reality? What I fear most? That one day I won't wake up. Hey, so I'm making a new one of these. Um, the prompt is Power of the Powerless. The deadline's the end of the year. That's the only guideline you got. It should fit on one or two of these pages, but whatever you write off that prompt, Whatever you want, I'm seeing if you're interested and I'll get your contact info. Or it's on the back of every single book. Thanks.